I love going into fires. Um, I, the hotter the better. I've actually been burned on a fire. I ended up having um, my, the tips of my ears were um, blistered and I had a burn on my face. That was an award. That was to be able to say, I can handle it, you know? That, I mean, that's instant respect. If you come out of a fire and you have burns, that's instant respect from anybody. And then you don't whine about them. You're kind of proud. You're like, oh, look, I got burned on that fire. You know, some people be like, oh, why are you whining about it? Oh, I'm not whining about it. This is, I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that I have that burn on my face. And uh, I just, I really like um, feeling like I'm doing a good job by just really getting into my work. Emotionally, it's so fun because once it's done and everybody's talking about, oh man, did you see that? Did you see this? And it's just amazing. Fire is a living thing. What does it take to be a living thing? Does it breathe? Does it eat? And does it reproduce? It's bad, y'all. And if you don't have respect for it, you're going to get hurt. Today, the recruits will face the hottest and most brutal training conditions and the last serious obstacle before final testing. Nervous, excited, a little bit of both. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm petrified. The first order of business is to get recruits acquainted with the severe conditions at hand. They are piled into a room that is superheated and shown the importance of staying low. The thermal layer is a visual boundary between cooler and hotter air. It is seen as a layer of darker smoke. While the temperature may be bearable near the floor, it is likely 1,000 to 1,400 degrees at the ceiling. Even protective gear cannot survive in that environment for long. Instructors demonstrate the dangers of opening a fog pattern in a confined space. The fog pattern pushes the cool air to the ceiling and drops the searing heat to the floor. To me, it felt like somebody was just crushing my chest in, you know, like you couldn't breathe. It was like somebody kicked you and you took your breath away. It's beautiful, I mean, but it's, it's hot. <laughs> These were the reflectors when I went in today. This is what they look like. Uh, now this is what they look like. Burn all the way through. All right, get in your gear. Everything ready to go. Don't hook up here. We'll meet down there. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. My mom. It's so nervous about me. I've always been that kid that I'll call home. She'd be like, I don't want to know until you're done with it. Because I make her nervous all day long. She's probably sitting at home crying now going, I wonder what my baby's doing. <laughs> Y'all, it's awesome. It is the prettiest thing you'll ever see in your life. I can't tell you. It just makes you want to run around and grab a Snickers bar or something. You see it. <laughs> I can't stand it. It'll also put you in a box. During the course of the exercises, one recruit collapses after exiting the burn building. If you get toted away from here on the red bus, you're out of course. If they decide to transport you, then it's all over with you're through. And I told y'all that from day one, okay? It's like hell. All you see is fire, man. Everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, it's fire, man. It's like hell, man. You know what, at first I was, you know, that's great if they can do it or not, you know, that's up to them, you know. I, I don't care whoever's beside me, as long as they can, you know, pull my big butt out of a fire, man, I'm fine with that, you know. But I've actually learned to respect these girls a lot, you know. I've seen people drop out, and I saw these girls, you know, I've seen them several times in their face wanting to quit and didn't give up. Something inside them dug deep. And that, I respect that big time, because in a fire, you don't have the option of giving up. 
You know, where are you going to be if you're, in, you know, halfway in the structure and everything's collapsing around you? Are you going to do, okay, I'm done? I haven't seen any of these girls yet quit. Nowhere. And I've seen nothing but when we look like we want to quit, then root us on. Get her done, Rock! <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's brought us all closer together knowing that, you know, hey, you know, we're all a team. We're all a big family. And I'd fight fire with them any day of the week. I respect them. I don't, I don't care what, what you're going into. I trust them. I'm sorry, you know, brothers, sisters, whatever, they're, they're part of family, you know. I don't see nothing wrong with girl firefighters. They pull, they pull their weight. That's fine with me. Went in there and did my thing. Put that H2 on, baby. Yeah. Despite the blistering heat, exhaustion, and pain, all of the recruits overcome their limitations and successfully complete the exercises. I've seen a lot of classes come through here. I really have. I have never seen a class like y'all been. Y'all got in there, done what you had to do, and get out. I, I dished it to you and you took it <laughs> and gave it right back to me. No bitch, no complaining. You know, got the job done. Y'all make my job. I mean, it, I can't even describe it. I love it. Y'all, awesome group. I can tell you this though, the physical aspect of this is over. The mental's kicking in. I'm telling you, you better get together as a group. All that now stands between these students and their goals is two days of brutal testing. 